Hello and welcome to Modern Math doing topic 102, bearings. So we want to read what the bearing is of B from A. So watch those words there. From A means we go to B and look at the bearing is from A. So we need that angle there. Now we always read clockwise from north. North is always up. So that's zero. And then we use a protractor. Place that cross like I did in my angles videos and how to use a protractor. Read from zero to about 58 degrees there. Okay, so it'll be 58 degrees. Now, to go the other way around, to go from B to A, so what is the bearing of A from B? We're going here. Now, if we know our parallel lines, this angle here will also be 58. So all we're doing is adding 180 onto 58. So they will get 238. Okay, so to go from B, reading from north there, from zero, going clockwise. Always read clockwise from north. And we'll go that way around, 58 plus 180 get a bearing of 238. Okay, now if we have to draw a bearing, this time I'm going to draw something that's bigger than 180. Again, reading from north, from zero. So if we have our protractor there with the cross there, always reading from zero, so this time it's on the outside. We know all the way around will be, that's 180. So what we need to do is add an extra 20 degrees, because that's 200 minus 180. That's the difference there. So we take our protractor, put the cross where that dot was, and read up to 20, which is about there, and then draw a line there. And then that bearing there is 200 degrees. So there we go. That's bearings. Martin Maths, thanks.